Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed 1 adventures. Yeah, just making sure. To Foley. But t -t today, we are going to... Oh, yeah, from I was like, Codex! Why oh, didn't have that? Oh, yeah, because we were locked off from that area. Because the game is very, very mean. It's a very mean game. First things first, we're going to do the Templar Lair. And just assume that we can do it, because for some reason we can't do the viewpoint. And I can only assume that's because we get the upgraded, like, you can kind of dash climb that, like, at least is in future games, so maybe we learn it. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that, and then the main mission. Because why not? The Templar Lairs are a few, like, the... One of the few pieces of content that I have, like, no memory about. At all. Then again, I also, like, kind of barely remember Assassin's Creed stuff overall. The game is very mean by giving archers more health. What is the point of it? What is the point of throwing knives now? How can power creep reach into a video game that is single player like this? Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. Well, that was very rude, game. I reached out and then the game says, actually, you're going to fall to your death. Why? Because I hate you. But it looks like we're going to have to kill this archer the old-fashioned way. Echolo all you want. You cannot survive me. I am here to kill Templars, because I cannot climb this damn building. At least I don't think I can. I don't trust in you, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get hug-tacked. Because again, I don't think there's much we can actually do. Who knows, maybe this Templar lair will put us on top. And then we'll be able to go to the top. I don't know. Again, I do not remember too, too much about Assassin's Creeding. Like, Assassin's Creed 1, I remember pretty well, because it's a very simple and, all things considered, kind of short game. Shorter compared to all the rest of this nightmare. Over beams under stone, explore Santa Maria Gloria, Gloriosa de Freri, and find the Templar treasure hidden within. Cape not effective in this area. Going to assume that falling down paintings is a bit more nice. Going to assume we don't want to go that way. We go through here. So this is basically the Templar Lair version of the big uh, uh, temple that we went through for a assassin's seal. It's just a bit more big. Find the treasure room. Very well. I did knock the lantern. We need to find a way up. So let's try and follow the birds. The birds I... Game. The birds generally seem to point in the right direction of things. I think. Hmm, because it feels like it wants me up here. But I can't really... Oh. For some reason I didn't think that would work. Usually my brain goes, oh, if that happens, you can't really do too much. Just follow. Can I throw that ladder down? I don't think I can. The only other time a ladder did that was in a cutscene. Where I jumped to the right place and then the game went, And suddenly ladder! <laughs> Once again, the game deciding, We know where the camera should be. Game, I do not trust you. Every single time you mess with my camera, bad things happen. Oh, I thought there was going to be a 
another swing swing, and I was like, hmm, I wonder how that's gonna work. And there's another ladder. Now I have a way back up in case I fall. I do find it hilarious that, for the most part, Altair, uh, Altair, brain, for the most part, Ezio's, like, voice, oh, that's a failure on my part. For some reason, brain thought I could do it, but I could not. But up until now, like, Ezio's voice has been basically what it was when he was but a young boy getting in trouble in Florence. But when we do this stuff, the, like, uh, game, quit messing with the camera! Ah! I swear, because, game, I can make it good on my own, but it's like, oh, do you want to do this? And then it messes up the camera. That could very well send me to my doom. Game! I just kind of glancing around to make sure. I assume that we can glab, grab the edge of this and leap off of it to the diddly D. Hmm. Ha-ha! <laughs> kind of worked. But whenever the game just messes with the camera, it's like, what if I was going mid-jump there? That could kill me! Hmm. So near, but so far. So at least I made a path. It was probably the right path all along. But hard to say because game is a jerk. Hmm, like... That feels like it could be, like, secret treasure. But it doesn't feel like the jump angle would be good for it. So I feel like I'm just discouraged from even trying to treasure that. Let us swing! Look at this classical painting. Don't even know why the classical paintings would be up here, far away from prying eyes. Bene. Now I have a way to get up if should I fall. Stop doing it, please. <laughs> I hate it when it takes control of the camera. I get it, it's good intentions. This is the way you should go, but game, you could be killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. It's not exactly what I want. Just wanted a light jump. But I guess you can't get a light jump. By just holding the action trigger, you have to hold the relative A button to your controller experience. I feel like I could just go there, but there seems to also be stuff over that way. Good. Again, could be treasure, but we're not exactly wanting for money. We have a villa stock full of money that gets more money. I don't really need to go for secret places. We. What a terrible place for a door. So just by bashing down a wall, you could find all the treasure. In five, like what, yeah, 500-ish years. Hello, Anubis. So, Lorenzo, no, yeah, Lorenzo de' Medici plundered Egypt. And then the Templars plundered Egypt. The whole, I wonder if this is ever referenced... Like, in Origins, it probably isn't. By the time Origins was being made, they probably completely forgot about these little missions. But it, it would amuse me greatly if there was, like, some kind of reference to Templars and Lorenzo de' Medici running off with these. Like, of course not technically them, because, again, that's ancient Egypt. 
So I don't know, like, how far back that is for Origins. And this is almost the 1500s here. So I... Like, they could do, like, an Animus database gag about it. They don't have to actually have the in-memory in characters go, I can't believe the Italians are taking our ancient Egyptian treasure, wink, wink. Just have, like, some random, like, database entry making fun of it or something. Acknowledge that you remember things. Ubisoft. Remember to stay hydrated while you go do Templar layers. That man does not care that we came out of the sewer, and neither do the guards. Nobody cares. Is Venice just the New York of Italy? Well, off we go to do this, since I don't think we have access to the other... Bibbidi bops the other... Viewpoint towers. And more money placed into the villa. I have a sword. They're very angry. It's not my fault they were harassing me. And I have a big sword. And he has a thick head. And now your friends are gone. Can I grab you? Come on, Venetian god. I guess I have to swap to... You're very rude. Come on, fight me. But while we fight the Venetian guard for troubling me this day, I realized something just a tad disheartening about the soon-to-be recent release of Overwatch 2, which is Overwatch 1 going free-to-play, and the thing that annoys me the most is they're shutting down Overwatch 1 when, like, the day before Overwatch 2 goes live, and from the outset, you'd think, oh, that makes sense, because they have no reason to keep Overwatch 1 and Overwatch 2 going at the same time. They're, they'd be competing, which I would say, sure. But at the same time, it's their choice to make Overwatch 2 a sequel instead of an overhaul. They could have just, again, made Overwatch 2 an overhaul of Overwatch 1 and just made it be a big update. They chose to make it a different game, which is free to play, and then go, well, we can't have two competing games, and then use it as a, an excuse to lock heroes behind a paywall and or time gate. So I just, I feel very, very big feelings about the annoyance surrounding that. Also, my uh, wanted poster was going into the wall there. I'm not is he just wearing really Fresh bright clothing, inside. or is he Scaled covered wall, in blood? Yeah. I think that guy that got dragged in there last Made time did get killed. Need to find another way. Yep, we're gonna be taught how to do the big reach jump. And here it is! Reach jump! In the knee! Uh, I guess you could say she was like an adventurer like us. Until she took an arrow to the knee. Hey, I need your help. I remember you. We need to go! Should go where? apologize for knocking me over. No! Va bene, where to? The water. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. <sighs> Help Rosa get to the river. Now, get him. Fear not. I'll make sure each of you dies too. 
Be gone, Satan. Even the bloody guard is here to welcome us off the mortal cave. How dare you gang bust me like that, dudes? These guys do not adhere to the wondrous world of goons attacking one by one so that martial arts fights can be nice. Then again, I am the protagonist, so I can take it. Goodbye to your friend. I really should get... How dare you. Then again, on your own, you got stabbed through the knee with an arrow. And you knocked me over. Again. Maybe you shouldn't knock over your escort. Jesus Christ, you're fast with a limp. And an arrow through the knee. I am trying my best here, lady. And we've pass passed by plenty of water by now. You keep saying that. Meanwhile, I just took out all the guards in under five seconds. I... And now you're going the opposite direction. I mean, you're the one that can't make up her mind on where she wants to go. And I'm the one that is jumping into wells, so I have no leg to stand on. Luckily, I am now an unknown element, and they don't seem to care about me. But now they're all dead. By my hand. Not really, they're all dead. You won't have to, because I am hug-teching them all. I, I think we could have gotten this way, like, uh, much more efficiently. Also, this is where I started my journey in Venice. Are you gonna uh, fall unconscious already? Your limping is slowing down. I will carry you. I never did catch your name. Rosa. Why were you trying to climb into that building? No. Kill him. Kill them all. I guess with more team, I should do that. We were dealing with the Gardo. Hilarious that the game was like, no, don't pick up the woman. Pick up the sword. It's obviously what you want. <laughs> more thieves to our cause. My ally made me drop my ally. Alright, since all of them are away. I am murdering people so that your allies can be alive the entire time. What's this? Rosa's been wounded. Pass her here. We'll go the rest of the way in the boat. So I have to carry the woman, I have to drive Kill the boat, her. I have to do everything! I didn't even sign up to be a poorly dressed thief. Go! I'll deal with the guards. Nope, oh, I don't even have to drive the boat, but I do have to murder. Game. Game is very rude. I would, but the game's an asshole. And now he's throwing rocks at me. 
If the end in the game wouldn't let me climb. The game is killing me by just not functioning. The game is just not functioning today. <laughs> no, you don't get to climb the fuck out. Why won't he let me climb the fuck out? Jesus fucking Christ. Newsflash game. If water, let climb. Well, it's less on the rooftops and more uh, on wooden bridges alongside the buildings. Not very much the same. And I am, with great effect, I might add, Hug Tech. Murder. Into the water you go. You'd think being a native of Venice, he would have learned to swim. Even more than a native of Foley. What I wouldn't give for a gun. I have to wait for them to catch up. You are a very slow gondola driver. No, they are not. They're shooting at us. From where? Inside your mind? Damn. Fall into the water, please. It would be quite dramatic. Darn. They aren't. At all. Up here, you say? No. Eccolo, don't get him. I am a free man. Well, at least I'm getting compliments from thieves. Who taught him to move like that? Me. You're gonna pull up here? I feel like this would be the place you'd pull up. Apparently not. You just keep going, don't you? Row, little boatman, row. <laughs> the light base... Well, I guess not light, but the base in the background amuses me for some reason. Oh, there it is. There's a way around. Whee! Oh, he's a feather. Oh, do they pull in some place? It's hard to tell sometimes. I didn't really see a place they could pull in, but I guess that's a more fault on mine than anything. Ah, their buddy died. Even though, like, one arrow was shot at them. Say a prayer later. I need to see... I need to see Antonio. Be careful. Let me do it. Go and find Antonio. Mr. Hugo, do what he says. Can't believe I'm taking orders from this guy. Hey, hey. Wake up. I have plenty of medicine. Give it to her. I even have some poison that might work. Really get you walking. Or like dancing at least. Oh no, we're in the real world we now because there's no UI. Make yourself useful. Clear a space for her. Put her down there. I think there was supposed to be a mat, because I distinctly remember the like the original version having a mat that was placed there. This is just a table. In fact, I think I saw the mat in the background that was supposed to be. 
They've sent for help. Thank you. Rosa, what's happened? Just get this out of me. Soon, soon. Let's have a look first. Clean entry and exit through the thigh. That's good. Get it out! Rosa, we must take care not to... Now! Come here, boy. <laughs> it shall be painful, but very well, if you wish for more pain. <laughs> I'm sorry, Piccolo. Sorry! Piccatelo nel polo, you're sorry! Go fetch Bianca and be quick. Help me with this. How? Take a clean piece of linen. Clean piece of linen. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into her womb. Are you ready? Now! Here we go. Ben Fardo, it's good well to not let it bleed out. She spirited this one. Porca putana! Avanti! Get Rosa inside so that Bianca can close the womb. Ah, with burning. You'll be all right. The worst is past. There's the... Oh, there's the mat. It exists. Thank you. Rosa is most dear to me. If I had lost her... I've always had a soft spot for women in distress. So I've heard. Who are you? Don't look so surprised. We know all about you, Ser Ezio. Your work in Florence and the rest of Tuscany. Good work, too. If a little... Unrefined. I'm a murder you god. Venezia, I can guess. When you have a minute, come see me in my office. There's something we should discuss. But I still don't think we've learned the big jump. There's a thing here! Established sometime around 1465, the Venetian Thieves Guild, due to its illegality, had no permanent headquarters. Although efforts were made by the magistrates to crack down on thievery, accused culprits never seemed to be around when the city guard went to search for them. So this place has a diddly. And I say a diddly! It's for me! Secrets undivided for me! A puzzle that will torture me, no doubt. Is this the pyramids? Or is it triangular it ellipses? Uh, or was it Poor guy. He's mixing up his centuries. I can't remember. Just imagine if you were in a memory device for so long that you couldn't even remember what century it was anymore. Nicola, we know what they have done to your lab. To your career, it may be too late to set things right, but you can help prevent fa something far worse. Excuse me. Body is just like, how dare you talk a lot. Meh. They have taken an object from the Tsar and are conducting experiments in Tunguska to figure out how to use it. Before they do, we must take it from them, or the world will be in danger. We do not ask you to risk your life. Just that, when the time comes, you use your electricity to destroy the object. Regardless of your decision, Know that we admire your work greatly, and will bear you no ill will. We respect your freedom above all else. Ah! Uh... I have no idea what that was! But apparently Nikola Tesla made a big bomb. I don't even have an expression for it, but what? <laughs> that all of these have puzzles. That one just gives it to me. What? I'm very confused, mate. I am very confused. But we can go and do this tower, at least. Oh, well, unless the game is like, You fool! You moron! You can't do that tower! You don't know how to do a leap! But no, it looks like we can do it. More money is in the thing, but we can't fucking buy anything. Although I guess we could just go grab it, so... Well, we could look and see what the inventory says is, like, the maximum amount. I love the little, the light music that's playing in the background.
I, I'm still not over the fact that the puzzle was not a puzzle and that there was no puzzle and that just gave it to me. Either that or there was a puzzle and I didn't recognize it as a puzzle and I just did it. That's a very small area to unveil. Mm. But we might as well continue on. You want money, little man? Money to you! Have money, poor little man. Might you be in my debt someday and give me all of your money? Like an investment, I become a bank. It is in my blood. It is in my blood. Just like the assassin stuff. Also, I just realized that Ezio kind of mirrored Desmond a little bit, where initially he didn't want anything to do with the assassinating and just wanted to get out of it, get his family out, but then eventually turned to assassinating anyway. Hey, prego. Can I offer you something? Biscotti. Un café. What's café? An he hasn't had coffee. Brought to me by a Turk merchant. Here, have a taste. A little bitter, if you ask me. Just seems lacking somehow. I don't know. Have you considered adding sugar, maybe? Or latte? <laughs> I suppose it's something of an acquired taste. And then Ezio invented Enough the latte. That. Now where were we? We're going to assault the city? Or is this just your train set? Our failure at the Palazzo cost us dearly. It will take time to recover. No doubt Emilio will use this pause to strengthen his defenses. You didn't even have a plan. You just ran at the building. You may not share our motive, but I know you share our goal. Why not gather your forces and try again? To act in haste would only bring more losses. No, we must resupply and draw new plans. Can ill afford to sit around and wait. Nor would I want you to. Work with us instead. Kill lots Already of people. Already my men begin to mend today's wounds. Seek them out. They'll put you to work. The sooner you aid them, the sooner we can strike. Molto bene, Messere. I accept. Together we shall right wreak decision. havoc upon this city. I got paid to talk to a man. Hello, Rosa. Hello, De Rosa. You seem to be healing well. How are you finding Venezia? It does its charms. But how do you deal with this smell? It's gifo. So? What brings you to me? I was hoping you could help me with something. And that would be? I want to learn to climb the way you do. Oh. <laughs> Va bene, I can do that. Well, I can't, but Franco can. Teach me how to climb. Franco, mover il culo. Show Ezio how to reach the top of that scaffolding. Without a word, Begin he a does it. Position. Then jump to the ledge above you. As you reach it, grab it with your hand and pull yourself up. Now we know speed there. climbing. See how it works? I think so. Only one way to find out. Try for yourself. Monkey see, monkey do. Learn Rosa's climb leap technique. Jump, Ezio. Jump, little man. Jump. Grab the ledge at the. So, how did I do? I've seen better. <laughs> ah, you wound me with your cruel, cruel words. All right, smartjasso. Let's put your skills to the test. I'm all ears. Meet me in front of the Frari! And Ezio goes, what the hell is a Frari? But now that we've... Oh dear God, this last is a two. <laughs> well, we might as well do the mission stationed here. Let's just knock on the door. And then we'll do the, the tower that we can now do. Ezio, I was hoping you might return. 
I want your advice on something. Of course. What shall it be? Emilio has turned some of my own men against me. Bribery and blackmail, is it? Yes. And we cannot strike until the traitors are dealt with. They're still somewhere in this district, keeping tabs on us and reporting Do you want me back to, to kill Emilio? them? Not for much longer than not. Time to kill! Identify and kill the traitorous thieves. Now the thieves have their... It's the magical cup. The magical cup. It floats through the sky and damns all it sees. What the hell? He's a magical cup. I was half hoping that it would disappear when I looked away. So to be slightly more amusing, but sadly no. It just is there. A floating goddamn cup. Well, up off we go. We have murder to do. Is he on the fucking board? He's on the goddamn board. Alright, I go. He'll come around to this side again, and will meet his end. I don't even know what good a thief on a boat is. Oh, but he does have a... No, that's not a bodyguard. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Hello. Oh. Come on, that was perfect assassinating placement. Come to me! Rude little fool. Had the gall to not be instantly killed when he was passing by me. But luckily, as he walked away, he still died. Because he was a fool. And a traitor. And traitors die like that. All right, we make our way down In the way since it is closer. <laughs> Hello, friends. Yeah. Goodbye. Like <laughs> I wonder what these little connector wall thingies are for. Stabilizing the buildings. Dang it. Huzzah! And it makes climbing just a tad bit easier. Just ever so slightly easier. Who can tell me what to do as I skateboard into a minefield? Fall into the water, please. I hear the screams. My target on that roof. Now he, I could understand, because he was on the roof. Ah, this is perfect. We can go there and go on there. Yes. Murder! Although I do find it kind of funny that I'm not getting into a free run race chase with any of these thief traders. 
but no, the one time that I'm supposed to kill these, like, noble prissy dudes. Oh, they go free running across the goddamn free tops. It makes no sense. You can't kill me. I'm not a trespasser. I am a god. We must all work together. Form a lynch mob now, ladies and gentlemen. Bring the kiddlywinks. They will love to murder. Ah, now that we have the f jumping grab. Oh, the possibilities are endless. Just hope there isn't like a feather that I'm missing on this tower. Because I'll have no reason to come back here. And now the tower that had plagued me. It plagued me so, but now it has been dominated. And sadly, there are no further diddly dee codexes in the area. But now we must continue on our way to murdering the guy. We. Must run. There is a bard on our tail. And the bards, they do not give up. Their tenacity is endless. Almost as that of an assassin. Out of the way, rich dudes. He jumped on a guy. Kill him! idea why the guards are always like so aware and again another bloodied guard why is that such a common glitch in this version of the game Now we'll have to wait for this guy to come on by so we can kill him. Luckily, this guy doesn't care. He wanted to die. He was bloody after all. And <laughs> they're still looking for me. Foo. Crash mad! Game is rude. Game, let me murder. Into the water. Into the water. Into the water. Man, they all died. Thanks to water. The ultimate enemy of the guard. Why actually fight dudes when you can just throw them into water? But... Next, I will, well, first, see if there are any pouches, stock up on health potions, the medicine, check out the art merchant just to make sure we got everything from last time, and then do one of these missions. Nope, they're on the other side, I believe. I was on the wrong side the entire time. I am fool. And we have you tin poison. Now, but take care in future, 
They do not care that I jump on a table, at the very least. Let me get out of your way. But pouches. No, that's die. But pouches. No pouches. Sadness. Then we will double check the art merchants at least. The game isn't cruel and like you have to visit each arch, uh, art merchant as they each have like one art piece that nobody else does. Triple check to see if any new. I doubt it. I think metal will be the best until we get the assassin tombs underway. In fact, speaking of, I should check my inventory just to be extra safe. Let's see, just items in general. I have two encrypted, three decrypted, no seals, no statuettes, and six feathers. Who do you take yourself for? I already robbed you, so I have no reason. Wait. Oh, my fool. I'm a fool. It had Arto up there with an S at the beginning. So I thought, obviously, this is the art guy. Because I am a dumb. Nope, we have all. We have all. Good, good. Then off we go to do missions. Memory start time. The customer is always right. I don't believe you. <laughs> Luckily, he just points at me and says, You are a bad man while staying at his post. Climbing a bit of scaffolding is all well and good. But let's see how you do out in the open. Technically, the scaffolding was. Am I going to the tower that I was supposed to? Ascend the tower as fast as possible. Use the leap climb. It won't even let me jump. Game's an asshole. Fuck off, game. Game is being a real dick with the climbing mechanics. No, you can't do that. How dare you try to do a cool jump? You don't get to do that. Let me do cool climb. What is the point of game if not cool climb? Cool climbing is the whole point of this goddamn game. And yep, the game did want me to do it in a mission. How dare. And darn it, I wanted to do another cool thing. But whenever it's like, ooh, I want to do like a, a jump and then grab a ledge, which is kind of like the bootleg version of this game just says no we're gonna throw you in the opposite direction you thought you could control this video game fool we at least with the leaps of faith it usually works out so looks like you've learned all i have to teach you i'll let antonio know of your progress finish your other tasks we're almost there. I learned to climb. I killed three guys. Apparently that's all they needed me for. <laughs> Out of the way. Noble prices for noble way. For yeah, I guess while I'm here I might as well decrypt the codexes, why not? Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? More codexes. <laughs> You found another one. How exciting. Yes, we just switch these two lines and then shuffle them left. Done. I would definitely be too dumb to learn a cipher. And at least with that weird happenstance, the game is like, no, don't climb. Use ladder. Which, fair enough. See, that's what I always want to do. Just do a bit of a jump and then jump to the left and have things happen. And the game usually goes, how dare you? How dare you want to fly? Ben trovato, Ugo. What's the trouble? You and Rosa managed to escape from Seta. But the others were not so lucky. Emilio's captured them and now they await execution. You That's know where rude. they're being held? I know they're still in the district. But beyond that, no. You'll have to look for them. 
Time to Robin Hood this no and save everyone. Please don't be time limited. Free the captives from Memolio. From asshole man. They're all kind of equidistant from each other. Guess I'll go do that one first. Ah. Rope bridge. Huzzah. I just love the Assassin's Creed music. It's always so good. And again, I think they keep the composer for the entire series, so well done there. No true. Stealth can be done. What was that noise? Oh. Listen to them squeal. Squeal, eh? Luckily, I can just do that. And now I'm notorious. There we go. Into your eyes. And I even did it with minimal casualties, all things considered. Granted, now I'm going to have to, like, bribe two heralds. Again. Oh, and now I need to escort the thieves. You all know how to climb a ladder after being stabbed in a cage. As much as I want to kill that politician over there to lower my notoriety. Funny how that works. We just cannot... It's not my fault that they are very slow. <laughs> One needed alive. So if the AI fucks up and they fall into the water, the game will blame me. What? That's a double asshole. Game is a triple asshole for that. Game needs to make up its mind on how shit works. Oh, I'm escorting a guy, so suddenly we're not allowed to do my cool maneuver, my hug tech. You're escorting a guy. How dare you try to hug tech? Here are four of your men. One of you better get up here fast and not knock anybody else to their death. I want perfect scores. But I was just very rude. My hug tech should totally have worked. Or maybe I accidentally held the action trigger a bit too long. And so the game decided... No, that was a uh, super action. Oh. Why was that counted? <laughs> game. There we go. The markets belong to the people. Emilio says he sees the Lord. Shh. The god is dead. Let us go. Very fast. I'd like to bribe that herald, but I don't want any of you to die. Why are you all going the horrible path? At least none of you seem to be catching the eye of the guard. Which is at least a consolation. Maybe they were like mocking me. It's like, silly Ezio, this is how you get back to Ugo. I have all the business to be up here. I just need to wave. Ah, there's one dude. One dude, step here. And again, that politician, far away. 
basically taunting me. I wonder how many people died falling to their deaths off of roofs in Venice. I doubt it's that many. Unless rooftop guards were just that prolific. And considering we'll probably be going this way back, might as well clear house. That's what you get, dude. Again, would like to bribe, but on a mission. My notoriety doesn't really matter if I'm going to spend all my time on a rooftop for a mission. <laughs> ah, double guard. If I manage to kill them... I shouldn't have any worry, unless the guards that are guarding the entrances decide to take umbrage. Let's go. They take umbrage. Very rude. Fight me. The Swiss. The Swiss. Is that what he's saying? Remember how we took down the Swiss. See my uh, Beyblade maneuver. You should have run away. <laughs> Again, I'm the only one who was ever prevented from going someplace. All those people stood there watching me murder the guard, cheering. And the guards that they all passed by to do that were like, Yeah, there's nothing going on back there. Or maybe they glanced over, saw me kill one guy and said, You know what? I'm not paid enough for this. Either way, understandable. I'm just slightly annoyed that that never happens for me. That I just can't walk by the guards and be like, I am a normal citizen, doing normal citizen things. Why, you could even call me Mr. Normal Citizen. No, I don't get to be normal citizen. Let's do more crazy jumping that might get my charges killed. Don't kill each other, please. Hopefully I think they are, like, immune to body blocking each other because they're, like, part of the same squad. I killed you already. Mister, I'm looking at you. He died before he even hit the ground. And it wasn't the fall that killed him. It was me. Because I killed him before he hit the ground. Follow my lead. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to. And I saved so all of them. I aim to please. For a moment, I'll I thought that was going to be an achievement for getting all these uh, thieves out without any of them dying. What sort of job? Meeting my achievement? Battery low. Molto bene. Well, time to go and uh, clear my name ever so slightly. Going to have to tear down. We definitely have to go back to the villa. You all don't see anything. I'm just doing normal Venice things. I see a fucking snitch. You don't see anything, do you? God damn it. I'm coming for you. Little man! 
going anywhere. Sure I am. I'm leaving right after this. Shame on you. That should have been a defense. Should have been a counter. I dare. There we go. The problem with the very tiny window for... Okay, that one was fair. The very tiny window for hidden blade countering is... Sometimes it feels like a block should have been in a counter or a... Like that. Or maybe it's because it's a big wind-up attack and you can't counter that with the hidden blade or something. I don't know. The game has decided not to uh, tell its secrets. Come on, I want to do cool things, but they don't tag fast enough. So yeah, it might just be really wide swings are incapable of being countered with the hidden blade. That would be kind of interesting to a degree. Alright, now we're going to go back to the villa. Purely to... I just need the fast travel station. Which I guess the, the fast travel station over there would be the most thematic. I do find it funny that all of the merchants don't care. The merchants see you kill hundreds of guards. They don't care. If you pay them, they're happy. Man, I'm just gonna swim. Why bother going and trying to find a land bridge when you can swim? All right, that's kind of stupid. The game was like, no, you don't get that, even though I really should have. One second, I need to head back home so that I can teleport, do things to the villa. Villa Auditore. Villa Audio Jack. Neat, there is actually damage to the armor when it breaks. That's neat. Again, I don't even think we have guards. You want it, I, have it. I don't believe you. We'll quickly go in. I, and again, we don't have any seals to place, that but we... No, oh, he was saying that to the arena and not me. I was going to be like, the fuck you say to me? But no, he's cheering on the mini arena we have. Ah, look at it. Look at it in all its splendor. Hmm. Obviously, that needs to be flipped. Needs to be flipped. Ah, oh, because this one is incorrect. Then that should be, is it? That should be, yes. I don't believe that. That one's probably correct. That one just feels... Ah, it's because of you. Yes. Now we just need to find the few remaining missing ones and fix any potential issues. So I th yeah. Because sometimes the glowing red is a bit hard to read. Ever so slightly. Because that one, I have no idea <laughs> what's going on. We are missing five codexes. Huzzah. Can we just climb up to meet Mother? We can. 
We deposit feathers. With my scuffed as hell. Diddly dee. We have completed one fourth of the feathers. Just by being. We will talk to you. First, repair. Repair all. Once again, check for any new armor because I am a collectomaniac. I don't think we have any more pouches to even get. You're poor. Why are you even here? But now we head back to Venice to help in the murdering. But then again, that is my job anyway. I am an assassin. Mwahahahaha. It will be interesting to see, like, how games beyond the Ezio Trilogy handle, like, gameplay. Or even games in the Ezio Trilogy. Because I, again, hardly remember much beyond the basics Rescuing of Brotherhood. Was more than just an act of charity, Ezio. The men you freed will play a vital role in the weeks to come. Just ask for their help, and they'll join you. And once I have my little band of thieves... Send them towards a group of guards. And they'll create a distraction. Opening yep. the way for me. Exactly. Saves me from having It's kind of funny sword. that this is our like thief it. tutorial. Exactly. Now I'll tell you what to do with them. Antonio's plan calls for a bit of deception. We're to imitate his archers, which means we'll need the armor that they wear. A shipment of the stuff has just been loaded into chests and now awaits delivery to Seta. Loot the chests and retrieve the outfits. When that's finished, I'll need you to fetch me a boat as well and bring it back here. We'll use it to move our men into the palazzo undetected. Smart. Rob the chests carrying the armor and then steal a boat. Chests and boat. Chests and boat. Boat and chests. Well, off we go. Innocent Ezio. To impersonate an officer. I mean, I could hire them, but I like working alone. Mainly because whenever I try to use any of the hireable purple that aren't the courtesans, the game generally goes, No, you're not supposed to do that, and then fucks up my, my stealth. Ah, there was one right there. Would have been nice if they just did it in order then. We shall go then. Guess it is my fault for not reading the map. Uh, so is it up? I think it's just down there. Well, let's see. Hmm, but it's being guarded by more guards. So we do need to be a bit slippery. <laughs> what is even the point of this balcony? You have to come out through a window! Did they really not expect anybody to come in from behind like this? What is the purpose? I can only assume that they are some kind of support beams, but still. Game. My brain works on like semi autopilot, so it's like I press the jump button, so therefore we need to hit B. <coughs> Darn it, I want that feather, goddammit. Why? Never feather. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Too bad. I shall tell you. Feather. And now 
Now we shall highlight you. You're the closest. Crash mat. Crash mat. Crash mat technique is the greatest of all time. Uh, I don't think it's physically possible to bomb. So that's what that's kind of meant for more than anything. At the same time, the chest was right there. So I don't think it would work to loot a codex that way. Boy, howdy, does that work? Why are you angry at me? I didn't do anything. I am an innocent man. Game, I explicitly did that. And they just keep making more. More and more just keep coming. How dare you deflect? That's against the rules. And now he's dead. And so are you. Seems one of your allies ran away. And also at least the... The counters aren't terrible in this game compared to... Assassin's Creed 1, or at least they feel not as bad. I don't know why this is considered a restricted area. But once again, all these... And again, miss win. Very on the ball for seeing through that. Gatu, what? Come back here! I'm losing him! Got to hurry! Gatu, get him! There. Game is very rude on that. Either I can assassinate him or I can't. He's right there. they guarding a boat so vigorously? You shouldn't be up here. What the devil are you doing up here? Fine, they all die. If you didn't want to die, you should have closed your eyes. You would not believe your eyes. If you closed your eyes so that you couldn't see the things that you would see with your eyes if you closed them. And that's why you shouldn't care about the boat, dude. Just give me the boat. And nobody will get hurt. It's a gondola. For a moment there, it felt like the game did not want me to turn right. I don't... But it just feels weird. Like it's veering left. I mean, I guess it would kind of 
makes sense because the gondola of row thingy is on the, bene, the right, so. This is exactly what we need. But still. I'll let Antonio know you finished the job. Now we will go. First order of business. Uh, the Why are all of the things that obviously like the game is like, oh, if you tear these down, people will forget your face. People can't even see them now. How are they remembering my face? Telepathy? <laughs> Knock on the door. The mission starts. What magic? Work with Antonio and his thieves to defeat Emilio. Please enter. Defeat, also known as vigorously murdered to death. All right. Your good work has restored us to our former strength, Ezio. We are ready to strike. Just tell me what needs to be done, and I'll see that it is. I will murder them all. We'll approach from above under the cover of night. Emilio has posted archers around the palazzo. Kill them, but do so quietly. I will try my best. Archers also have telepathy. About the guards. When you finish with the archers, we'll regroup in front of this building here and discuss next steps. Nessun problema. I'll take care of the archers and return to you. Then it's settled. In bocca al lupo. Crepi lupo. Whenever those quick time events come up, I'm like, oh, wait, they're here. Because it just kind of startles me, because they. They happen. Randomly. A lot more in this section of the game, apparently, than others. But it's just like, they still see- they still catch me off guard. <laughs> quick time events are more like twi quick time scares. <laughs> I don't want to let down the innocent people. I'm like, the game does continue without it, but I don't know. I feel like I'm letting people down if I don't do them. I failed them. I failed the characters of this video game by not hitting the non-essential quick time event, man. I keep forgetting that this rope breach exists. Basically, if we run at all, the archers know. If you hold right trigger in the presence of an archer, they will immediately spider sense you. There is no other way of describing it. Archers are just ungodly perceptive. I guess that's why they got roof duty. I want Antonio up here because he just knows things, man. He just knows. It's like there's a guard for every... You don't see me. I'm behind a wall. And I just need to be careful, be quiet. I am an assassin. Damn it. Uh, and the background of all the murder is the Herald saying there is a murderer. Specifically me. I feel like he'll turn around soon. We must bring about his downfall. Well, this... This guy's gonna be falling in just a minute. Start on this side and kind of work our way in. Because I want to be stealthy. Game allowing. Game allowing I want to be stealthy. Because again, I can't trust my throwing knives anymore. Alright, alright. He sees me the next day at the market. Cazzo! Get down from there! Ur aura. I really wish that my throwing knives still one hit killed. Fine, we'll work around a different way, because that is far too 
precarious. We'll have to deal with like more miscellaneous guards probably. But we might be able to not have to worry about too much. Ooh. How does he do it? Maybe it's Maybelline. Motherfucker. Why are you all so psychic? I hate you. Maybe I should uh, do it more like ledging. We'll wait for him to forget that I exist. And now we'll begin ledging them instead because game does not like uh, possibility. You don't know that I exist. But you do know that you are dead. And luckily the guards are too... Too much hubris. I should handle this one because he'd probably see me hanging so maybe I'd want to start with that one work I doubt we need to actually hmm. let's just jump game please grab ledge we'll work our way around to the opposite side because I do not want to be found. I want to be stealthy. I could probably, like, uh, not have to worry too much if I did get found out the game. Like, oh, I just killed them. But I want to be stealthy. I am an assassin. And he should be far enough away from the other one that I could do a ledge kill. I also find it funny that they don't seem to care. Fine, fair enough. But they don't seem to care about the dead bodies. Where they would see me, they can't see dead bodies. Maybe they just have tunnel vision. Alright, we'll wait for you to go on to the other side of your little patrol. And then your friend is dead. Which directly leads into you being dead. Because he was the only thing keeping you alive. Ah, uh, don't worry. I leave. And now I come back. Because you are a very dumb. A very dumb boy. Luckily he went into the water and nobody heard him. Works enough for me. Why would anybody put a treasure chest there in their garden? I slowly trickle down. Well done, Ezio. Everything is going according Just to Just one guy falling into the river. As we speak, my men are replacing the archers you've removed. The way to the palazzo is clear now. But not the building itself. Emilio's guards still patrol its border. Indeed. Use my men. They can distract the guards. But well, wouldn't that put them on high alert? And when it comes time to storm the place, remember what I've taught you. Seek out, though, Ezio. We await word of your success. Hmm. Or I could try courtesans. But it's more in theming. Excuse me. <coughs> My nose uh, betrays me. All right, go. Go for the big guy. And this is the magical time where they. Oh, 
works for me. And since we dealt with the archer, maybe now it'll do it. <laughs> okay, a little bit odd. I don't want to raise the alarm. I'll wait for him to patrol. Nope. It's you, me. The cat from League of Legends. And now we're here. House of Cards is crumbling in you. How do you know? It will be dealt with. This povero Shemo Antonio and his thieves. Never mind them. It's the assassin you should be worried about. Why? Is, is he <laughs> you didn't man? know. He's been here for weeks. How could you be so blind? Unlike you, I've been busy. Someone had to provide the weapons to our brothers in Firenze. Yes. And we all saw what good that did. Enough with the bar. What is it you want, Carlo? Maestro has called me. Three days from now, a sunset in battle. Very well. I'll be there. Assuming you still live. If you want my advice, I'd find you a conspicuous place to wait. Seta is a target now. Seta is a fortress. If you say so. Goodbye, Emilio. Cazzo, what is his right? You... Guardia! Guardia! Dang it. I could have killed the main man right there, but I couldn't let him escape. Even though it probably would have been more thematic to, like, kill him on a boat. Oh well. Going for super stealth is always hard in these games. Do not be afraid. I feel no fear, assassin. Only regret. I sought unity. By killing people. Stability. By killing people. Order. By rigging elections. Too great a cost. Progress demands sacrifice. Non like yours. Una gioia in questo, ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. I still like the little confessions, even if they're not as grandiose as past ones. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> resist. So, if anything. That kind of works. Come, let's open the gate for Antonio. By having a frantic chase, he dies, and then all his guards die. And now Antonio rules Set the palace. Fallen and Emilio is no more. All thanks to you, Ezio. Go, tear down Emilio's banners. Return what he has stolen from the people. We must return this entire fortress and to the people. Ezio. How can I repay you for that man? Service? Who was he? Money's always nice. <laughs> Easy enough. What else? Emilio was meeting with a man named Carlo. He looked to be a government official. Do you know him? Carlo he must Grimani. die. He sits on the Council of Ten. Why do you ask? What are you up to? He's a Templar and must die. I have a meeting to attend. So thank you very much, Antonio. The merch to Venice. Well, I got my pound of flesh. You drop that right now. And with this memory synced, I wonder if other things will become available in the stores and stuff. Throw an enemy into a breakable object to kill him, like water. Now, throwing him into the arms of... A guy who is, like, carrying a box doesn't kill them, even though the box breaks. So obviously that's a lying tooltip. I found an exception that is minor and rather irrelevant, but it matters to me. Still love the big construction memory thing. That's That, that starts every memory sequence. It just feels neat.
So does that mean that I can actually access those other places? Well, first things first, I'm going to see if I can get that codex. Or I could... Uh, well, it seems that it's in the same district, so I need to jump off. Can make my way around. Ignore the mission. Ka -ka! And then... We might try to do just and find a good way. Well, we'll just go across the bridge. And then we'll have to try to do some of the assassination contracts for a giggle. Have a bit of a goof. Out of the way, people of Venice. In comes a random person. That is just money, and I don't. I'm not really wanting for money. You want it, I... Do you have any paintings? You don't have any paintings. Just a treasure it's thingy. I don't sure. need a treasure thingy. Mainly because I don't need money. Interesting. I guess they don't want me on that boat. Any new armor? There is new armor. Very expensive armor. New weapon? Ah, better sword! Better small weapon. Better small weapon, even though I don't use small weapons anyway. Why am I doing bind that? Those are useless. They don't oh, kill in one oh, shot anymore. But who said don't hurt me? I wasn't doing anything! Oh yeah, and we're also going to be on the lookout for more memory glyphs now that we're in a new area. Luckily, this one doesn't seem to hold anything. Oh, go away, courier boy. I don't care. I don't care about you, courier boy. Go away. Before we jump off... Well, what am I doing? I need... I need the information. Viewpoint indeed. The big turnaround like Ezio is on top of a miniature being shown off in a YouTube video. And as you can see, this is the diddle da mm. Oh, darn it. Is that a completely different diff? Yeah, that looks like a complete... Why would they taunt me like this? Why would we like, yeah, we're gonna have like a viewpoint over here that can then be activated to show a Codex that is many memories away. You hurt my soul game. Also, I missed a viewpoint over there because I'm dumb. Oh, well. We'll just have to play it stupid. Go do this one. Do the assassin tomb. Then diddly dee. Whee! Here I was hoping that we could go get the codex. But we can't. This game is a jerk. Like, it'd be one thing if it was just like, oh no, you don't need to know that the codex is there because you can't get it yet. No, they made sure you could know. They wanted you to know so they could torture you. And now I'm like SpongeBob. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! Uh, is this part of a mission? <laughs> Restricted area, indeed. Obviously, there's going to be a glyph on this nightmare of a world. <laughs> I am so smart, man! Wait, no, maybe. I don't know. I don't know where it might be. This is way too big. I was already very annoyed by the existence of... What? What was the noise? What was the activation noise? I don't get it. I've never heard that activation noise before, I don't believe. That's weird. Ah, so this is the brick version. 
We have to care about all the bricks. I don't know why that game is being wonky. Then I guess we turn around, because I would try to be a cool dude. Uh, game. Game. Go further. Game. Game. Obviously. Why? Why must you torture me? Because if I try to do this, it'll be mean. Okay, it wasn't mean. I just have no faith in the game, because usually it is mean. And it's too far away, so I guess I have to jump to that building regardless. And hope I don't die. Because sometimes the game is rude. Hmm. I would throw a knife at you if I knew it would kill you. How do I get to this viewpoint? Hmm. Okay. Why are you just out of reach? Why are you just out of reach? This is a very rude game. Fine, we're gonna have to kill that sniper. Archer man. I'm not trespassing. I'm existing. I was trying to think, how the hell am I supposed to climb this? Because it didn't seem like there was a way. Unless the game did freak out and was just like, No! You're not allowed to go around the way that you're supposed to go around. Which is entirely possible. The game can be a jerk sometimes. Because it just feels like it's directing me to this direction. Unless I'm supposed to... Nope. Hmm. Game, which way are you trying to push me? What way are you trying to push me, game? We added in the ability to super climb, so now we can be even more cryptic and assholish with our design of this place. Nope. And also the fact that none of the windows are symmetrically placed is just very bad architectural design as well. Yeah, just for whatever reason, it just didn't want me to go that way. Game's an asshole. Contextual button decided, no, I don't want you to go that way. Why? Because I want you to waste time. Because I was pressing the right direction. And it's like, no, you can't go that way. For no other reason than it wanted to be an asshole today. I need to drop so that I can then presumably because sometimes like I don't trust the handholds anymore not after that little brick decided no you don't get to win make sure there are not on either side it could just be get to the top and then jump off but you never know just want to properly like make sure before we do Now we climb the tower. That's not a tower. <laughs> you can't do a vertical jump over <laughs> up an inclined architecture. Guess it makes sense. I'll synchronize, and then I'll drop down a little bit to see if I can scope out the glyph any which way. Because... Game is a little jerk when it comes to eagle vision. Because I want to do the glyph, but I don't know where the glyph is. And it's not from this angle, at least. Now let's see if we can survive. We. Oui. <laughs> For a moment there, I was definitely not going to make it. <laughs> For a moment there... Definitely wasn't gonna make it. And there's a codex page. Well, we'll go do this tower, see if we can see the glyph from that angle, because it is going to be painful to try and raid this place for both a glyph and assassin tomb. Especially when I don't even know if I can trust the little 
I barely entered into a restricted zone. It's walking along a walkway. Other maniacs. Be gone. We are considering that last time the game was like, look at this boat and this building next to the boat in Forley. And I'm spending all my time looking around. Well, where's the glyph? And then it's like, psych, it's on the lighthouse. That's in the distance. Yes, it's kind of in the middle of the photo, but it's not the focus. And it's just like, that is a terrible, terrible hint. Like, legitimately. It is a terrible hint to go, here is the focus of the shot. The thing that you're actually looking for is still in the shot, yes, but it's not the focus. But in reality, it is your... <laughs> then that just makes it a terrible hint. You're going to look at the most foreground pic... Ezio, climb, climb. But I, my footwork was not pretty there. Shut up and climb! Climb, you little Italian boy! You are commanded by a controller and you will do as I say. But now that we're also here... Quickly get off a little bit. Mm, probably too far away to probably see anything. Well, time to invade that place looking for the glyph. Ah, <laughs> my favorite. Get off the goddamn building. Because there's no way to climb the building. And because this is such a big place with multiple things, like, the glyph could be on a balcony, the glyph could be, like, yeah, the glyph could be in that balcony over there. Which would be hell, if you ask me. It could be on the ground, it could be up high, it could be between building places. Might be able to get in through here. Ha <laughs> A restricted zone, yes. But I am here. And that is a feather, and I'm grabbing that feather as I look for the glyph. Again, the glyph could be easily seen, the glyph could be in a just a very jerkish spot. The the glyph could just not be on this giant building. That was the forefront figure of the photo. That's obviously meant to be, lol, this is the building. But you can never tell, because sometimes Assassin's Creed just decides, hey, let's do something dumb that makes no sense. There's so many goddamn guards and all I want. You attack very quickly. How dare. Let me hug you. I'll make everything better. I'll kill you one by one while I search for this glyph. I will find the glyph. I swear. Hello there, Silver TNT. I'm killing the guards just so I can hopefully better find the glyph for this building. Fancy footwork. Because the game is taunting me with its existence, saying, the glyph exists, and I don't know where. Who knows, maybe it's even in a place that I can't access, because obviously this is a big, big place. It might play a big, big role. But I don't know. I do not know. It's obviously not the front-facing one. Get off, Ezio. But we must find, see if we can find it. Who, again, maybe it's on that balcony. For some reason, I doubt it. My brain just says... And the, the light shining through those gave me false hope. Made me feel like, is that it? No. Who knows, maybe it's in the assassin tomb. But I highly doubt it because assassin tombs are one and dones. Hmm. We could 
do the assassin tomb right off the bat. Because, again, it feels like some place of this area is, like, locked off. So I can't actually access access it. But it wasn't terrible to get up here. So, and the assassin's tomb is right there. I'm leaving the... I'm leaving. You don't have to worry. How dare you look at me and say I must die. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh wait, no. I did... I re-remembered. I was right the first time. For some reason, these guys only are counterable by the hidden blade, as far as I'm aware. But it's been a bit since I fought them, legitimately. I usually assassinate them. And how dare you call friends? That's against the rules. At least all your friends now ran away. Why are you guys so much easier to kill with the hidden blade counter than anybody else? Ah, darn it. That should be easy to climb. How dare you. Hmm. Aha! Maybe I can climb from here. Uh, once again... Etsy will climb the damn lamp. And Ezio's just not wanting to agree today. And hug tech. You are all alone. And now you are dead. I want up to that balcony. Who knows, maybe you can't even get up to the balcony. But I think that you can. Even if Ezio says, no, I don't want to jump from this. I don't want to jump from a lamppost. Because they have little banner thingies that look perfect for climbing. So yeah, it seems like, again, they have these things that make it look like it's perfect for climbing. You're just standing right there. Die! Give me your money. Walks right up to you. Says, stay back, filth. Does not run away. Why? Again, it could be up there. It's hard to look, though. Hmm. We could take a look at the database. Just to make triply sure. This has to be the building. And apparently... Or... Maybe... Why must you be me? So maybe it's a completely different building? So Torre del Orgoglio... Then the big thing, that's where the Assassin's Tomb... No, that isn't it. This is where the Assassin's Tomb is. It's up there to the right. So... And then here's the... T I wish that I could see on map. That would be nice. But okie dokie. That narrows things down. Maybe I mistook the Assassin Tomb insignia for a glyph. Entirely possible. But now we have to play Tour Guide Simulator. Looking for the proper building that was glyphed. Maybe it's this one. Perhaps. Or maybe... Hmm. Brain. Because this is definitely the Assassin Tomb. It's right there. It's on the map. Keep it up and I'll have the that is probably where the glyph is. So I... I am dumb. I am dumb, but I... Why are all of the courier boys constantly saying, Stay back, thief! And then immediately running past me. There is a chest there, but I don't care about chest. And that is a hiding spot. I don't care about hiding spot. I want to jump to the left. Fine. So we'll come here on the balcony to triple check. Nothing here but chest. He must be erased. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's flat on the ground this time, it looks like. There we go. And we might even be able to jump from here to there to do the assassin tomb immediately after. The bunker. Will this be one that is actually a puzzle, or will it be like the last one, which is, I don't even know, World War II? 
Ah, is it that bunker? Oh boy, my favorite! Where are the hints? Where are the hints? Oh god, is the hint gonna be bullshit this time again? Because last time, hell happened. <laughs> These are my least favorite ones because you need a secret to get the answer, and then you need to put in the answer. But usually, the secret is either... Oh! Uh, I kind of hate that things show up behind the pictures, because now I don't know if that equal sign that's on the bottom left hand that's popping in and out, is it the hint? I don't think so. Just looking around for any secrets because I'm trying to remember. The one that was about like uh, Nikola Tesla and Edison, I believe, or whatever. Like, that hint made no sense to me, but like, I saw one part of the hint, but apparently there was a second part of the hint that I didn't get or something. Because I don't even know anything. Because there is... The thing that's flashing in equals less than. It's equals less than what? Because <laughs> like, uh, the little side arrow that's above one on the code ring and then the equal signs that keeps popping in and out of reality is just like, is that, is it part of the secret? What does it mean? Is that, am I supposed to interpret that as that equals two because this is all World War II? Let's go for it because I have nothing better in my life. So let's see, seven is that, nine is blank, but should be up to, and one should be circle. I presume. Wrong code. Yeah, that's what I figured. Because your hints are terrible. <laughs> Seriously. I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna go right up in front of my TV to see if I can see anything because, dear God, hence, you're terrible. Because again, I don't know if any of the hint has to do with the things that are flashing in and out. Like, it can't be, you know? It just it can't be because there are things that are flashing in and out. There are the weird things in the background. Whereas that is stable. So just came back to give that update. I'll see if I can find anything else in the other pictures that should be like, oh, less than, and then a number, and then you hook up the number, and it should be answer. Yeah. Yeah, because I see nothing. I see absolutely nothing. Other than the l arrow pointing to the left. The arrow pointing to the left is the only thing that I see in the pictures. Maybe it's around the pictures, but I doubt it. Although the, though the one time was, like, one of the, like, hint answers was the diddly D. Like, uh, what was it? Cause I'm just, I'm trying to find, uh, cause the number has to be somewhere in the pictures.
Wait. Wait. I'm gonna be upset if this is the answer, because... With all of the, like... bibbidi bob the letters that keep flashing in and out, in and out, all over the screen, there is only one number that is doing that. Directly in the middle is the number four. It is the only number that I see other than technically the equal sign. If that is the answer, I am going to be quite upsetty. All right, so seven, we don't know. Nine is this, which means that seven is one, two, down. One should then be, let's see, from, oh, from the less than symbol, should be one, two, three. Well, I don't know the dichotomy of understanding these things, my boy. Let's do it again. Wait, four, three, two, one. Nope. Well, I'll be, I feel like these are safe, like maybe. Unless, like I don't know. I do not know. And I don't want to take the advice just yet. Because this is not a number system, so I already think it's stupid. And again, it has to be the four with the less than symbol because it's the only bloody th number flipping into existence. Okay. It's obviously that. That for nine. Yes. Good. Got it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I might have gotten... went in the wrong direction. Because... Down went to the number next, which is zero slash ten. Which then maybe that's one? But that's... Uh, uh, let's see. Maybe that is one. And we need to go up from here. So eight, nine. Daniel. I Daniel. Let's go crazy. No. Hmm. So that's not it. Very diddly. All right. Because again, this, this is nine. This is nine. And I just feel like, and it's like, I feel like if it's going to be internally consistent, then like with the dot, dot, line, line, dot, dot, two line system, base three, stupid thing that I did not like, that these will also go roughly in order with some fakes thrown in. And it's because that is on the number wheel. So maybe, hmm. So if we start there, that's zero. But then... Which means still going up. So let's try that instead. Instead of uh, going down, we go up. So this is nine, eight, seven, six. Nope. Because... That's kind of rude. That. Because that's supposed to be four. So, like, that's five. That's four. That's six. What's the advice, Sean, about this stupid puzzle? Right. This one is tricky. There must be something distinctive about those shapes. Something on them that we can count. Really? Well, that doesn't help me, because... The number of lines... So that would be two. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then... There are no horseshoes on that, so we can ignore it. There is a circle, so that's one. 
One, two, three. Because that is loop into edge, edge loop, which would be four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, I don't think that's right. That's not on the thing. But that it kind of doesn't help me too much. Because, let's see. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six. Unless it's counting the points, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So, either way. Then eight is one, two, three, four, five. Because it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. It's Sean said, there must be something about them we can count. Hmm. Well, let's try this one again. This one. But once again, kind of wish it was in order, but uh, if it was in order, then you'd be able to get it easily. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Obviously, this is one of them. So maybe that's the missing sevens. Let's try that, but then I don't know... Well, then basically, it's all about finding... Maybe this? That one's just guesswork. So this hint did help a little bit, but I still didn't fully understand it at the end. And again, it wasn't internally consistent with the base three like uh, puzzle because the base three puzzle with dot dot line, line dot dot line line for the base three system. At least the main part of it was like in a row when you are putting in the number underneath the real numbers. So, I felt like that's a little internally inconsistent on it. And if they wanted to be like, ah, oh, we smudged out one of the things, and to find out the answer, you have to figure out what it would be, then they should have done that from the beginning, but they didn't. Mm -mm. Uh, and also the fact that... Then again, I probably should have seen it coming because the very first one of these decoder ring ones did have, like, oh, number equals number in the space, but it wasn't flickering, and because the four was flickering and the past two decoder ring things had all the secrets, I assume. Well, actually, I'll say it. The one that I had the easiest time decoding did have all of the answers on the photos, and then I can only guess that the Nikola Tesla Edison decoder ring challenge had the, oh, I think it was line, line, dot, dot, as the base point, and then the number it corresponded to was probably flickering off in the abyss. Yeah, I kind of don't like these ones. They just feel a bit off and weird, looking for the secrets, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> May 02, 1945. The war is over and we are in control as planned, but a slight concern has arisen. I received word from our agents in Berlin. H was supposed to execute his double inside the bunker and meet C at the rendezvous point in the, with the Peace of Eden. It's been three days and he still hasn't appeared. Something must have gone awry. Please send instructions. Again, Hitler was a Templar. They engineered the war, they engineered the peace, but they weren't going to get away with it. Find our mark. I'm just going to say it, little squicky of, like, psych, the entirety of World War II was a big conspiracy. Yeah, I don't know, it feels a little squicky. Find our mark, he says. Find our marky mark in the funky bunch. Words that I cannot read... Yeah, Marky Mark. A equals H. I have to double check it because sometimes, even though it's in the viewfinder, it's like, well, it's not in the right part of the viewfinder. Ha ha ha. Which I find troubling. If 
find our mark, he says. Where is it, Marky Mark in the Funky Bunch? Where is it? Also kind of annoyed that that's so big in the... We watched the exit from above. He didn't see us. So does that mean that it's somewhere more above? Again, the A equals H. They just feel like should be. It is above. Oh, there it is. At least reading the title helped. Ow. Do we have to do it again? Well, there was uh, the mark there. All right. Well, there's a feather. All right, I'm going to grab the feather. Then I'll jump over there and do the assassin tomb. And then I will see about going for that other glyph that we apparently have in the database. That we know where is, but have not done. Warning! Restricted area! Again, kind of mean that I am on the building, and it's like, oh yeah, that. A little mean to put two historical places together that have red dilities, and while you're looking at one, you might accidentally mistake it for the other. I know, my mistake there, but still. I take umbrage. Eagles indicate the presence of a viewpoint! I think at this point you don't need that tooltip anymore. Purge it from the system's memory. Oh no, Ezio became a statue. And then he came back to life. The ultimate of magic. Oh, is this just another... What? Solve the riddles of Basilica San Marco and find the assassin seal hidden within. Riddles, you say? Oh, boy. Uh, oh, this is a swing. Okay. I thought it was a climb. Riddles, you say? My favorite. Hopefully they'll be easier then. <laughs> By riddles, it probably means parkour to the other thing and pull it. Or maybe it actually means puzzle. Solve the four trials. Well, fine. I clicked that one. I did hear clicky clicks. So it wants me to kind of parkour up, then across that. Please don't be timed. Fuck, it's timed. My pleas go unheard. My pleas for mercy and the camera! Fuck off with the... Game, game, game! Why? Well, now I'm definitely not gonna... Fuck you, game, please. Fuck off with the taking away camera. It never works. Genuinely, it never works. It's just like it never does. But we just want to show you where to go. Yeah, and you're fucking that up. I can find out. Why have contextual shit if it's never going to work in context? Seriously. Uh, I might as well just wait it out. I'm not going to make it. Oh, I can just reactivate it. Nice. But yeah, I hate... When the game takes away camera control. Hey, guess what, game? I'm not a fucking simpleton brain-dead person. I am not a vegetable. I can tell where I need to go just by using my eyes. For the love of God, stop taking away my camera. And jump.
game is just rude sometimes, I swear. Alright, uh... Now would be a time where I wouldn't mind the camera being taken away, just to see where this was. But yeah, I never, never, ever, <laughs> ever like it when games take away camera control. Camera control, especially in something like this, is highly dependent... Like, uh, it should be that your actions, the actions that you can take, are highly dependent on the camera. So when it's like, random, obviously, know where you're gonna go, but we're gonna shift the camera anyway, bullshit, is so stupid. Like, yes, game. That is where thing is. I already knew that, because I'm not fucking stupid. Just wanted to make sure. Wait, it's just very insulting when the game goes, fuck you. We don't trust you to play game. And again, it does this bullshit. Fuck off. Like, no shit. Who would have thought that the big thing in the middle is gonna have something to do with the parkour? Dear God. It's a mystery for the ages, Bill. Nobody ever could have seen that coming. And again with the... And there it goes again where the fucking camera gets locked in place and it's like, Oh, whoops, then, then the controls are fucked. Game, please. Stop taking away camera control. You are not Resident Evil. Fuck off. My dude, please. And again, why is that the one that is like, ooh, we're gonna take away camera control when it is the most simple fucking thing? Like, obviously, anybody who looks at it is gonna be like, hmm, indeed. That looks like a thing that I'm going to fucking jump on. So when the game does weird bullshit with the camera, it's so fucking annoying. Because usually it's something that would have been discovered anyway. Oh, it's just so aggravating. Can you just not take camera control away, please? Because there is no reason to take away camera control. Quite honestly. <laughs> I don't think a single time in this game having the camera control taken away has helped me. Maybe once? But for the most part, it just messes with my controls. Because like, oh, if I hold it this way, Etsy will jump that way. And then the game is like, oh yeah, but we took away your camera control, so the controls are a little fucked. And I just, I hate it. I hate it so much. Because the only way that that kind of thing can work in conjunction with the parkour system that has been set up is if it only ever takes away camera control when you're parkouring at all times. But that's not what happens. The camera control is yours for the taking in like 90% of the parkour. So, it's just very frustrating. I need to no, jump wrong side. Need to be on this side so I can jump cross to cross. You've heard of coast to coast? Well, get ready for cross to cross. Still think I might not make it. There we go. And the fact that it, it also seems to happen randomly because, again, it's the kind of thing that needs to be built into the system where it happens so regularly you get used to it and know how to navigate the controls. But it happens so randomly. So, so randomly that you can't get used to it. 
So you get used to looking around with your own eyes and jumping with your own camera controls only for the game to randomly take away camera control for the most boneheaded simpleton things that it just god it hurts <laughs> it hurts because i just want to make a jump and then the game is like we took away your camera control why because we hate you again it took away the camera control why game stop Fucking stop! I hate it! I can see most of the time where I'm gonna go! You don't need it AGAIN! It DID IT AGAIN! I hate it! Like, unless the camera is more of a liability because of how you've, like, set up the... the where it even is... Ah. There we go. Nine times out of ten. The camera being taken away is not a good thing. It does not give me the information I need. If anything, a lot of the time, the camera getting taken away limits my information. Oh, I hate it. These are still neat, but God, do they annoy me. Also, these are just skeletons. Poorly preserved skeletons at that. I don't think... Yep, it's just this way. Take the seal. Place your bets. Which will happen first? Me finishing the... Uh, whatever armor set that you can buy. But only the greaves so far. Or... The get the sixth assassin seal and earn Altair's armor. Hallowed be thy name. Thy name being fucking camera control. Because oh, is it painful? Oh, is it goddamn? Oh, is it hurtful? Oh, does it eat my soul? Oh, does it eat my soul? It eats my soul. Lily Benny Joy. And again, nobody questions the man coming from the sewer grate. But at least that's fucking done. Now we're gonna go grab Codex page. Grab viewpoint, see if there's anything else to do in the area, of which the answer will be probably not. And then we'll have to take a look at the database. Well, we're just going to bribe this guy, knock off some of our diddly D. Hey, I'm the assassin guy. Talk good about me. I don't care about you courier boys! I see a courier boy in the distance, I'm just like, God damn it, he's gonna be annoying, ain't it? Well, do you have any goods that I can actually buy? I don't think you do. Nope, just the yes. Missagalis, or whatever. There's an M, a bunch of S's and G's. And boop. Did you just say die cunt? Seems rather rude. Very rude. That's why you all must die, and I get this codex page. With this, I only need four more codex pages. Hell yeah. And then I'll be able to discover whatever the secret is. Because I don't think I've ever done that before. At least I don't remember it. Because my memory is crap. Let's see. Eh, company. So it's that other building. In the same, in the same plaza. Alright. Alright, we'll still go do the viewpoint. And then we're going to come back and I guess find it around here. And... 
And did the... Oh yeah, this place, this place is restricted. Did the restriction go away the moment that I did the assassin tomb? Alright then, game. Okie dokie. <laughs> Has anyone seen my assistant? Did he get eaten by your metalworking? Bip will climb this, finish off the viewpoints for this parts of Venice, and then see if there is any diddly thing we can do to find that other glyph in the area. Just to get it done. And pray to God that it's not another decoder ring. I don't like those. Some of the other ones can be kind of annoying, but that's mostly because I misinterpret things or don't know historical art as much as I probably should. And even then, the decoder ring one seems kind of lazy to me. But it could just be that I don't like it. And because, and thus my dislike causes a bias effect, so I'll go, hmm, this thing that I don't like is actually bad. When in actuality, my dislike comes from it, m from me mostly just being unable to do it properly. That's probably it. It's just the fact that... Diddly dee. So it should be somewhere on these here buildings. It does... I don't think that it would be... I do not believe that it would be like a... Yes, like this. Oh, fine, we'll jump over here. Why do you not grab things when I tell you to grab, you stupid little Italian boy? Do you think that you are too good to climb th the way I tell you because you are a banker, boy? You don't even have a bank anymore. Oh, it's just right here. Oh, nope, that's a feather. Ah, eh, feather still works good for me. You shouldn't be alive! Where art thou? Where art thou? Here, Gliffy. Here, Glyph, Glyph. Here, Heathcliff. No, that's not the thing. That is just a a box. Hmm. Ah, that's just a dead body. Because this is the right building, is it not? It kind of points in the direction of the big bell tower. So maybe it was on the tower and I missed it somehow? Maybe it was on the inside. And I was dumb. <laughs> but that means climbing that motherfucking thing again. I don't wanna. <laughs> climbing the thing would be hell. And the game just hates actually fucking grabbing when I should be able to grab shit. Game! Oh, that's a bench. I was just like, why is that big bright thing? Would you actually contextual your ass up to the place that you should go? You stupid Italian bastard. And again, it's doing that fucking thing again. Go around the way that you should, you stupid asshole. Or are we just in the wrong brick area? Ezio. Ezio. 
at sea. Why is this a thing, game? Why is it like, oh, sorry, we can't actually go all the way around, even though there's the fucking hand grip there? So if this double proves that it's not my fault, the game just keeps fucking up for no goddamn reason. And yeah, it's either this tower or somewhere on the buildings. It doesn't seem to be anywhere. Like, immediately. But dear God. Why, why is that little handhold like, er, we're gonna be an asshole? Is that it? It was. I'm a dumb and I missed it. Pain. It's getting harder. All the pain across time. It hurts too much. Yeah, because how many lifetimes do they put you through, my little boy? Poor 16. Only a little bit longer now. And this one is Synapses. Medical Archive. Access to night. It's gonna be the fucking goddamn. In the beginning, Genesis. God. So, I'm going to assume that that equals five. Maybe. I don't know what the whole thing is, so if that is five, then five plus two is seven. Plus six should be thirteen. Plus two should be fifteen. Sixteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Twenty-nine. 35, 39. What does that answer me? I don't know. I am in pain, Billy boy. I am in pain all the time. I just, I don't like these ones. Because they're just made of bullshit. And I hate it. And I have to look for any flashing bullshit in the background as well. I don't even know what that thing is. It's like the plus, the plus, the plus, the plus, the plus, the plus. What even isn't? Well, luckily, because the five is there. The thing, so I'm going to say that equals five, maybe. I don't know. It'll probably be wrong because the game is a jerk. There we go. Zero is unknown, because this is also another numbering system thing that I don't understand. That I don't understand at all. Ooh, do I not like it? I do not like it. If anything, I think my answer is correct, because zero and three are both smudged. <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> oh, I loathe it so much. Especially because, again, these aren't in order, so I don't have any, like, idea of what anything is anything. So it's like, maybe this is one. But last time, it, like... You see, that would be nice if it just started you at one within the numbering system symbol thing that it's going by, so you can at least try to guess what it could be. But then what the hell is this supposed to be? Or this. Or that. The different arrangements. Oh, at least we can kind of... And the thing is, because again, there's a bunch of things that... Like, uh, also I just noticed that the... Like, uh, the singular, like, wine glass is also in the uh, kind of bottom right hand part of the brain maps. Are there any other? There has to be. There has to be another hint somewhere. Or maybe that is just it. Oh, yeah, this plus five, even though the five is fucking. I.
And like, maybe the calculation thing is meant to convey something, but I don't know. Because it's just one long plus. Plus this, plus this, plus this. And then it's just plus, 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 plus. Plus, 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 plus. And it just never ends. I hate it. <laughs> Drives me insane. Because again. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. And again, because it's not in order as far as I'm aware. Because there's wine glass and then boomerangs. Wine glasses on top of wine glass. Doesn't it? Nothing makes sense, mate. Nothing makes sense, mate. None of it. None of it makes sense. I'm just gonna... Give me... The hint. Because I do not know how to figure this out. Because there's a bunch of things on the screen and none of them make sense to me. There's the calculation thing, but what the hell does that mean? Is it like 5 plus 2 plus 6? Plus 2 plus 1 plus 5? Plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4? And that comes out to be like, if we assume that the wine glass is 5, then that equals like 39. What does that have to do with anything? 39 is a non sequitur. All right, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. It's fine. Those numbers on the screen, they've got to be there for a reason. Yeah, there's some kind of I don't cipher. Know if this helps, but I know the symbols on the wheel. They're Sumerian numerals. Those tree shapes, they're ones. And the sideways Vs are tens. Maybe the numbers and the Sumerian numerals connect somehow. All right, so these are ones. So that is three. That is five. And that is... 11? But then, what does 39 have to do? Oh, no. Well, no, because... Actually, so that's 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 6 is 9. Plus 2 is 11. Plus 1 is 12. Plus 5 is 17. Plus 3 is 20. 25... 31, 35. But what does that mean? 35. Because again, if they're, if he is correct, and the little things are ones, is the answer that we need to put... Oh, but that wouldn't make sense for the code wheel... Because, like, if the code wheel wasn't there and I had that information, I would immediately take that to mean 3 for 0, 5 for 3. So there's 20 up there. And then 25. There is a 35 on 4. Because, because again, there is 5 on the bloody brains. And, oh, the one e there as well. Maybe they're taking me for a ride. Yep, that's what I figured. So, the code wheel can't be trusted because it's not in any order whatsoever. Because, again, like, even if we just reset it... It goes one, three, nine, eleven, twelve, blank, twenty. Or is there? Is one, three, nine, eleven. I'm just trying to figure this out. Uh, what does that mean? Because again, the, the 
The boomerangs are ten. Uh, let's listen to it again. All Just right, make this sure. Is a hard one. This is a hard one. It's fine. Those numbers on the screen, they've got to be there for a reason. Yes. I don't know if this helps, but I know the symbols on the wheel. They're Sumerian numerals. Those tree shapes, they're ones. Trees the are ones. And these are tens. Yeah. Maybe the numbers and the Sumerian numerals connect somehow. And let's do the calculation thing again. So, the tree, that's one. Plus two is three. Plus six... Is that... I think that's telling me the order of the wheel. Because one, one plus two is three, which is on the wheel. Three plus six is nine. Six plus two is eleven. Eleven plus one is twelve. Say, got it. Aha, okay. Okay, this one I do like. I think it's kind of bullshit because you need the... You need the advice to get it unless you know Sumerian numerals. But I think I get it now. Okay. Okay. All right. So, six is... All right, we're going to figure out the thing first. And then we'll set it back to five. All right. So, 17 is what we need. So, it'd be one plus three. That's 13. No. That's 15. We need 17. No, no, no. It has to be 17, right? Because the tree is one plus two, pl which is three. And then three plus six is nine, which is the whole cascade of trees. And then nine plus two equals 11, which is the V with, like, the boomerang with the one. And then 12, which equals 17. So 17 has to be... Four zero. Wait, because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I was dumb. It was right there. My brain, for whatever reason, thought that was five because I'm dumb. All right, seventeen plus three is twenty. Plus three is twenty. And then twenty-five. And twenty thirty-one. Right? I'm not big dumb. Or maybe I am big dumb. Thirty-one. That one was actually interesting. The organization wanted the pieces. They tasted their power. But what were the pieces? Why did they work so well? It's as if our minds were made for them. Manufactured to obey. Yeah, I will say, that is probably my favorite decoder ring. But only with the advice. Without the advice, you're screwed. Because how, how are you supposed to figure that out? Like... Maybe you could put it together with the thing. You're like, hmm, I wonder what this is. But with five on the thing, that's the problem, I think. Is that they needed not only to give you a way to figure out what the, like, sequence of the decoder ring was, but also where to put the sequence was. In my opinion, it probably would have been better if the sequence was just locked. Just locked right there, but then it might have been too easy to figure it out, but... I think it, without the advice, that one is pretty much impossible, in my opinion. Again, unless you know Sumerian numerals, because there's no reason to expect that to be, like, oh, one, and then when all the other, when there really isn't a, like, sequence that you can properly follow, I don't know. I just think it would be very, very, very improbable for someone unlearned of Sumerian numerals to understand that without the advice. 
But anyway, issue 1, January 2012. The scientific community is abuzz as the results of a new neurological study were made. Public today, what seemed to be big news in and of itself, that Dr. Yi Ji Wu and Dr. P.J. Tronero had discovered a new neurotransmitter. Turned out to be just the tip of the iceberg. To quote Dr. Wu, using a prototype DMRI machine, we've been able to examine the contents of an actual neuron in living tissue. We found a substance that appears to be undiscovered in neutromatter, or neurotransmitter. Here's what it gets crazy. The test of our findings, we subjected the neuron to all kinds of stimuli, but we couldn't get it to release the transmitter. So we've discovered the entire mechanism. There are uh, vesicles filled with neurotransmitter lying dormant and corresponding ion channels, all for no discernible purpose. Expressing bafflement that natural selection would create unnecessary neurotransmitter, Wu and Trinero searched for a predecessor in other species with no luck. Whatever this bugger is used for, it evolved in humans, Trinero told the press. And according to what the boy just said, 16, I'm guessing that's the, the neurotransmitter is that is dormant activates in pieces of Eden. Yes, 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 that's a lot of brain. I have to activate all the neurotransmitters. I have to take control of this brain. And I think we're down to two? Or one? We're down to two more glyphs, and I think they're all in Venice. If we go to... Database. Yep, two... Glyphs and one assassin tomb. I still hate climbing this goddamn tower. Alright, let's stop taking control of the camera away. You asshole. But I don't think there's anything else. Because, yeah, I think we should... Mm, on the one hand, some assassin contracts might break up the... Like, boredom... So let's go do some assassin contracts. Granted, that also... It's just that Venice is so big. And... We haven't unlocked all of the areas yet. That guard was doing a little dance. Good for him. Or we could just do the story. I wanted the map. I kind of hate that that takes over the map. Have it be a different button. Because I don't think that there are any other, like, building buildings. More than, like, like, I don't even know. There seems to be, like, so many districts left. Probably only two districts, and they're divided wonkily to make two more districts, but... Just feels odd. A recent outbreak of plague. You can't kill me. I juke you too hard. I break your ankles. And your cankles. And your neck. Let's do at least one. Let's do at least one Venice assassination mission. I'm sending one of my men to help you eliminate a conspirator who has ties to Archbishop Salviati. He will pilot a gondola toward your target. Follow him at a distance. Make sure to avoid combat until you're ready to strike. Interesting. Eccolo. You want this? Dive, I guess. Because of course he has to be on this goddamn side of the river. How is the gondolier supposed to help me kill my target? I sent one of my men to help you kill this guy. He's just gonna fucking drive a boat. Avoid combat, even though falling at a distance probably means on the roof. Where all the archers are. Who no longer die in fucking one hit. Because you know, that's fun. Not being able to kill the guards.
That's my favorite thing, not being able to kill guards. With the specifically made for killing guard tool. There's another feather that I can't get. Supposed to avoid combat when I can't one hit kill archers anymore. Again, how? <laughs> fuck off, game. Oh, you can maybe follow on land. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a huge piece of shit. That's just so annoying. Let knives one hit kill. At least archers. That's what they're. That's like the entire point of the fucking thing. And. Put me back at the gondolier, you piece of shit. <laughs> I hate this already. Make sure not to get in combat. He's super annoying. Super bullshit. And I think it respawned me further away, it honestly feels like. I don't remember the gondola being that far away. Maybe the gondola went to a different spot. Let's do the test. What are you nope. Game is still an asshole. Now throwing knives are fucking useless. Yay, my favorite. You are not going Why do throwing knives even exist in this game if they can't even do anything? Literally. If they have no... They're, they're worthless in combat. How do you do this? Game Y, you piece of shit. Oh no, don't jump to the goddamn building. Jump to the ground. May the programmers be eating gruel. For the rest of their lives. For all the bad decisions here. And yep, still can't go that way. My beloved Codex is just around the corner there, but I cannot get it. Honestly, it might be a better idea to just, like, swim after the fucking gondola. Yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna swim after the goddamn gondola. Or maybe I can specifically... And the game made my decision for me with more piss-poor pathing. My favorite. Or maybe I'm supposed to take another gondola and shadow the gondola. I would take that gondola, but it's too far away. Because honestly, I am not going across the rooftops without my one-hit kill knives that don't exist anymore because they decided to upgrade the goddamn archers for some reason. You don't need to upgrade the archers. They're archers. They're just there to make it a bit difficult for you to cross the, the diddly D. And the entire reason that there are frickin' I'm just gonna follow in a gondola. It is so much easier. Make sure to avoid combat. Basically means, yeah, no rooftops for you because you literally can't use rooftops anymore. Unless you are a master at sneaking around archers, which you can't do in a time-dependent mission. In time-dependent missions, you have to find a different way now. Unless the path is specifically laid out so you don't have to worry about archers. Or specifically made so that you can kill the archers in a timely manner. Without being seen, because one-hit knives don't exist anymore. Not on the Venetian guard. It's just like, why have throwing knives at all if they don't do anything halfway into the game? Chip damage at best, but uh, blah, blah, blah. I am just frustrated. Then again, it does look like he's actually crossing an entire way, so they did expect you to literally gondola the entire way as well. But still. Uh, 
And he's not getting on, so I'm going to assume that I can just sneak up and kill the man. Yeah, I kind of assume that when there's one civilian man surrounded by guards in a restricted area. There's only like one way this can go. I'll find that you'll find that uh, I can get away with it. But yeah. I kind of understand to a degree that it's like, oh, it's Venice and you should follow a gondola in a gondola. But at the same time, I don't know where he was going. There are many canals in Venice. It just kind of felt like, let's overcomplicate things and call it a mission. I'm not a fan of that. Especially because this mission could have been done even without the, hey, don't get in a fight stipulation. There was, he was on a boat. What was he going to do? He, there was no way he could even hear the screams of people from the rooftops out on his boat. So it wasn't like, oh, if he hears the screams of the archers on the roof, he'll run. And considering that I can easily kill the archers super quick, even with the basically worthless in all most practices, uh, bibbity ba throwing knives. It's just like so... It just feels very meh. It just feels meh. It doesn't feel satisfying because this is Assassin's Creed. You want to go across the rooftops. You want to do cool shit. And then when the game says, sorry, you can't do cool things here because uh, difficulty, then the game... Then it just kind of hurts. It just makes the game feel watered down there. I think that's it. It's just like, it doesn't feel like there's any real purpose to the don't get in a, into a fight diddly d. It just felt like tacked on shenanigans to be like, oh, would you look at that? It's ever so slightly harder. Ho, 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 ho. Would you look at the difficulty progression? What does it mean? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yep. Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. What do you mean? <laughs> or or do you mean that you're concerned that you don't trust him? Well, let's go eavesdrop Little Red Riding Hood. So, how go things in the past? Honestly, it's difficult. Mosinigo keeps his circle closed. I have tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions, but he has other voices at his ears. Hmm, I probably should have... Oh, actually, no. My brain went, maybe I should hire courtesans, but courtesans but it's drag away alert expect. guards. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. <laughs> the Doge doesn't like me. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learned Wait. what he craves, and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashion from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. A what? <laughs> what did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer. A bootlicker. Need I go oh, on? Bastard. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, hey, I don't understand pressure. Like you don't have pressure. No, you have no idea. You are a government official. the Doge himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am. They are not good friends. Hardly. You listen to me now. I am close. The Doge can be recruited to our cause. I'm sure of it. I just... I need a little more time. Time is not a thing we have in great style. This is why you should just constantly buy courtesans while you go on a tailing mission, apparently. They'd look back behind them. Hmm, there's a man tailed by two women. Who cares? But you need, like, 
to speci like I very specific courtesan placement. Yeah, Else, no random guards take, take away your courtesans. Well, luckily, there's more courtesan that I can courtesan. Multiple court. Oh, we got here. More and more people that I must kill. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin, the same one who hunted down the Patsy, is here in Venezia. Hunting us all. Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now, and we might not even know. <laughs> he struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I am so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. <laughs> They just call him the you Spaniard. Him yourself, soon enough. He's here from Roma. I could just kill them all. So but I need to get closer to the Spaniard. Good. Perhaps he's made a decision. About what, cousin? About which of us shall step into the role of the dog? Fuck off, Lur, man. <clears throat> Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. It should be the one who organized the entire operation. The one who came up with the idea of how to save this city. Save this city? There is no lack of value in tactical intelligence, good Silvio. But it is wisdom one needs to rule. Do not think. Ah, shit. They're going to take away my courtesans. There's no need for it. I'll just pick up more courtesans along the way. <laughs> and why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Basta. We wait for his arrival. <laughs> Basta. Even though it sounds like bastard. Yes. Signori, we should move a little faster. And that weird man that just went around the corner. Thank you, Dante. I specifically you hear you his know. eyes on us. And now there's a glitched icon. How much did you pay for this? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions. So he's not much of a conversation. Oh, why is it there? Maybe I can get rid of it if I just reload the UI. Nope. Enough with your inane prattle. Ah, the Spaniard. The choice of Tojo was never up to any of you. And you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. With your big protruding Plan lips. Is this. Tojo <laughs> Denied. And once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio humilmente, Maestro. Good. Messer Grimaldi, you are closest to Mocenico. You work the most vital. Tell us well, and it won't be forgotten. Basically, tell him, kill the guy you've known for a long okay. time now. I don't want any arms killed, you understand? It must appear to all that he goes quietly. Certo, Maestro. When are you closest? I have full run of the past. He may not care to hear what I have to say, but he trusts me. Then I want you to enter the kitchen and poison. Templars are like termites. So They're just ever more, ever more. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, my son. What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets. 
but chances are good that I can procure some kind of help. Yes, and what is that? It's a most effective form of arson. The fact that the little thing is still there is bothersome. Oh, darn it. And all my courtesans are once more gone. Oi! Game! Fuck off! The fact you are evidently a lost, terrified little rabbit keeps me from finding you offensive enough to now clear it off. The game is an asshole for these guys. Like I'm gonna run into you. They're not courtesans. I don't think being followed by big armed guards would uh, please them. Still don't know why the alert and notification is still there. Who do you go away, box man? I think he was doing a U-turn specifically to try and out me. Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you, involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans? I feel the need to involve myself. <laughs> the Patsy all died. <laughs> the Patsy disappointed us, Terence. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Patsy were a bunch of foolish... The Patsies were a potent and venerable family, <laughs> reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe, who now haunts your city. For the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. <laughs> Don't let him... <laughs> He's like... Bene. He has a feeling... Roll. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. He has a feeling. And I couldn't just go and murder them all. I should have kept my eyes on them. <laughs> they just disappeared. Go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made. And considering that it has persisted. Hmm. The little visual indicator glitch. I will quickly exit the game since it's saved. And then immediately go back in. And that should fix it because if, it, if it's only there for one mission, yeah, sure. But multiple missions... No. The rest of the playtime? Nah. I'm not going to suffer that. But I think we'll do one more story mission because we've been going for a decent amount of time. Even longer than I anticipated. And yep, the indicator is now gone. Let us go do the mission. Which will probably be prep for the actual mission. We have to save the Doge. Just so much money in the villa. But I don't really have anything to spend it on just yet. So I don't really need to go grab it, like, until, like, the next memory sequence where more pieces of armor will be added. Hilarious that the thing that he's berating me about, he caused to happen twice. And yet he doesn't seem to care. I also find it hilarious that nobody seems to care that Emilio died and a bunch of people moved in promptly after. Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? We need to save the Doge. Desolato, mia cara. But I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? The Doge is going to die. The and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. <laughs> then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. 
and the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, <laughs> amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you, it's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. <laughs> Your optimism come, is so grand. Let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. Discover a way to infiltrate Palazzo Ducale. Quick business, let's do it. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises. Let's read about Antonio. <laughs> Leader of Gilda de Ladre de Venezia, Venetian Thieves Guild. Antonio was born at the very bottom of the Venetian society. Records indicate his father was a cobbler while his mother was a living maid for the Bellini family. Teaching himself to read and write between apprenticeship sessions with his father, Antonio applied to the University of Padua, but was denied due to his low social rank. Documents found in several Italian archives indicate he applied to other schools around Italy as well and was denied at all of them. Around 1465, he drops out of the record books, only to re-emerge four years later in connection with a robbery of a notable Venetian estate that happened to be owned by the rector of the University of Padua. In statement recorded by the city guard before Antonio mysteriously escaped from prison, he said, Hard work is not enough to gain superiority in Venetian society. If one truly wants more, one has to take it. When I was a child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it, though my father was only a cobbler and my mother is scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you want... Let me just see if it's like uh, on the right side or... Just over there. Yep. Oh. For one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Babarigo. No! I say we are. The thieves, and mercenary, and whores. The actual hard we workers. Work to save this city and its people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. Yeah, that pretty much tracks for capitalism. We need to scout the palazzo carefully. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. I, I even, Stay like, s scaled the whole thing. Don't make me climb that fucking tower for the third damn time, please. I beg of you. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the dodge before we're able to get through all these guards. On me. I'm getting in the back way through the scaffolding on the makeshift Venetian cranes might be the right way to go because we went in that way before. Might be a good idea to make it that way again. My problem is you! Silencio Fon. I like the that one over there that leads up the tower, but then that doesn't let us into the actual courtyard. Uh, what's taking you so long, Antonio? Are you not a thief or worth of your salt? Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. Seguini. Guess we do have to get closer. To be able to go, and this is where. It's not my fault that he doesn't want to take a leap of faith, even though the fucking game put me at a leap of faith place. I think that's very silly. 
Uh, reduce distance to target because we can't make the NPCs do leap us a fave. I will eat your eyes with my bare tongue, you stupid bystander mocking me for climbing. By order of the doge, who will soon be fucking dead. Oh, we have to go all the way around. Or does it mean climb? I think it actually means climb. Nope. It does mean just go around. Boring. Very boring. In my boredom, I have committed murder. You should endeavor to move faster, Antonio. Technically, there is a back door. Bene. We're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the Basilica. Shall we? And just getting shot at. Press that to order your allies to make you a cappuccino. Yes, game, I know. I know the basic controls. It is there on the UI at all times. You patient whore. We'll need some gunpowder to blow up these gates. Or, you know, just some, like, heavy-duty wire cutters that don't exist Ezio, in this time look. period. Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, signore? Listen to me, please. For this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diablo! Just fall in. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. birds. <laughs> Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. Hmm. I think that I shall hold off the diddly dee of uh, getting the flying bird to fly for next time. So that can be a nice bombastic entrance for the next stream. As opposed to dragging this out, because again, we've been going for a bit over three hours, and that's a lot to do. Honestly, this time, time flied. Very much so. Team, the time just flew away. Sure, it feels like an hour or two, but no, definitely not three. How, how dare you carry boxes? Pay attention with that. No one shall carry boxes. I just want to stand outside Leonardo's workshop so that it can all be ready to go for next time. So this time we killed Emilio and gathered a lot of information. Honestly, oh yeah, and we also did the glyphs in Assassin's Tomb, so it wasn't all just, oh, just a bunch of little bit of stuff. We actually did some stuff. But yeah, the continued fickleness of the contextual thing where you think that the game would prioritize jumping you to places that you could actually land instead of taking damage and then the game was like actually I'm going to throw you off and intentionally skew your direction which is kind of stupid to me on top of the times where the game is like we're gonna take away control of the camera because we think you're very fucking dumb that's also aggravating but still, lots of fun with the game. 
Apparently my gauntlet is about to break again. Oh well. Mm, but yes, but yes. Assassin's Creed 2 is still lots of fun. With the bits like the most of the time decodering puzzles for the truth being kind of stupid. And the camera being the worst. But still, lots of fun. So yes, yeah, so yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, you can hit me up on my archive channel where all of these streams eventually end up. Such as Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Undertale, all of those streams did end up on Neon Icy Games, the archive channel. And then, if you are one of those people who are watching the Archive channel, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neoniceywings if you want to know when I go live. I try to keep my schedule tab on the Twitch channel up to date so that you can just go there and it should tell you in your own time when I go live. But if you want the absolute up-to-date time of when I go live, you can follow me on Twitter where I will send out a tweet saying, Hey, I've gone live now. And then I delete that tweet so people don't go, Oh, he's live, is he? And then they go, and then I'm not live because it's been like six hours. But, or even another day. But if you want art from me, like my little avatar in the corner, you can follow me on Twitch. No, not Twitch. Bleh. I don't even stream art because I'm on... My brain is like, No, people can't watch you draw. Especially because my system for drawing is ever in flux. I have no consistency. But again, if you want to see more of my little art, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, or Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. Mm, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.